just working on a project here at Glenwood Farm. Uh, Will and I are taking some scrap pieces of this dead grass that kind of looks like bamboo and uh, we cut them down to the same size and we're attaching PVC to the ends of each piece to eventually make a mini dome to test for a larger structure that we'll be building out of bamboo on the property. So, and this little dome is going to go to uh, Tom's dog, Akma. So we have a little house. The Icosahedron Geodesic Dome has 15 equilateral triangles and 13 intersections. It is made with 25 equal length struts and can be constructed out of anything. What will vary is material for the struts and intersections. The first step in this type of dome is to collect the struts and cut PVC for the ends. Here we are using dried king grass and various types of PVC for the intersections, which is what we had laying around. Getting the PVC pieces on the end of the struts might require sanding and shimming, or in the case of larger construction, you may need to screw the PVC to the strut. After all 25 struts have the PVC ends attached, the next step is to bend the tips on a 32 degree angle. The easiest way I found was to put the PVC end in the flame till the plastic becomes valuable. Then use a hammer to squeeze end flat while at the same time levering strut upward 32 degrees. You can draw the angle on a block in your workspace in order to make sure that you have the proper angle. Make sure that the ends are bent in the same direction on each end of the single strut. In construction you will point the ends towards the center of the dome. After you flatten the ends, you need to drill a hole through each end to make way for the bolt that holds together the frame. The size of the bolt should be about a quarter of the width of the PVC end. The first phase of constructing the icosahedron geodesic dome is a pentagonal pyramid. Start by putting a pentagon of struts on the ground and connecting a pyramid-like structure by joining struts to an apex coming off each corner of the pentagon. The second phase is to connect two struts to each corner of the pentagon. Keep all nuts on these bolts loose because the struts will need to be adjusted once we start the last phase. The third and last phase is to connect the two struts we have just attached to another row of struts, which will create another pentagon on the base of the dome. Tighten all bolts and step back to see the structure in its entirety. You have completed the icosahedron geodesic dome. Hope that in the future we see more and more alternative structures such as the geodesic dome. The construction industry is very taxing on the environment and using recycled materials and alternative building methods is an important step to weaning off of fossil fuels and harmful chemicals. Check out DesertDomes.com and SimplyDifferently.org for more info on alternative construction. Most importantly, have fun and respect Mother Earth.